Fellow church musicians, this is Alexander Schreiner speaking, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to this course of organ training. I believe you will find this course delightful, helpful, and profitable. May you find rich joy and success in these endeavors of making yourselves the finest organists who play for the worship of God and for his faithful saints. You are assigned to this holy service in the Lord's work. May you serve well and pleasing before the Lord and his people. My assignment here at the Salt Lake Tabernacle is that of chief organist, and in addition, I am charged with the overview of our church music activity as managing director of the General Church Music Committee. Blessings on you, beloved fellow workers, in our wonderful assignments. The organ is a majestic instrument having considerable power, yet also having quiet serenity. The organ console has one, two or more manuals which are played with the hands and a pedal board which is played with the feet. A certain part of the organ is controlled by each keyboard. The lower keyboard is called the grate because it's from this keyboard that the full organ is played and all strong sounds are produced. The other sections of the organ feed into the grate so that when full ensemble is played, the great organ truly merits its name. The top keyboard is called the swell organ and is used for the quiet portions of the worship service. Or as an accompaniment manual while the melody is played on another keyboard. This swell manual is used in tonal contrast to the great keyboard. On the pedal board, the bass line is played leaving the hands free to perform the higher passages on the manuals. The stops of the organ are divided into two broad classifications, speaking stops and non-speaking stops. The speaking stops are those that activate the sound. Non-speaking stops do not produce any sound in and of themselves, but modify the speaking stops. For example, the tremolo. And the couplers. in the pipe organ is produced by wind coming through pipes. In an electronic organ, the sound is produced by electronic means. On the organ, volume is controlled either by the expression pedal, crescendo pedal, or by using more or less stops. Crescendos from very soft to very loud may be made by adding stops in a sequential order. Or adding stops by using the crescendo pedal. However, a true crescendo cannot be produced by the use of stops alone. The expression pedals must also be used.
As you look at the pedal board, notice that it is curved, and the black and white keys are like those on the manuals. The pedal organ has 32 keys, starting with C two octaves below middle C and continuing to G above middle C. Some organs with only two octaves may end at middle C. The bench should be arranged so that one has an easy command of the console with hands and feet. The bench should be close enough to give adequate support, but not so close that one foot cannot pass behind or in front of the other. Sit erect. Be secure at the keyboard, leaning slightly forward. It should be possible for the legs to cover the complete range of the pedal board by pivoting the body to reach the extreme notes. The hands should be able to reach any stop control and play the manuals with perfect ease. Let's see what happens when the organist actually plays. The fingers are curved, arms, shoulders, and wrists loose. Hold the notes their exact value and release precisely at the beginning of the rests. All motion comes from the fingers. Arms and hands are held quietly. Prompt attack and release gives vitality and precision to the music. A good legato technique is basic to good organ playing. To obtain this technique, depress a key, hold it, while a second key is being depressed. As the second key goes down, the first key is released, becoming a single motion. Continue the process for a perfect legato. Practice slowly with attention given to the simultaneous depressing and releasing of the two keys. The tone continues uninterrupted. As exercises are mastered, increase the tempo. Two-part manual exercises develop independence of part playing. Scrupulous care should be given to legato, to fingering, and to note and rest values. Besides direct fingering, four other types of fingering are used. First, finger substitution. Finger substitution is changing fingers on the same key without repeating the tone. Notice that various combinations of fingers may be used. Second, crossing. This technique is another means to achieve legato playing. This fingering is useful and is easier than finger substitution in rapid passages. Third, glissando. Fingers may be moved from black to white keys, less often white to black keys. Thumb glissando is almost like adding a sixth finger. It is now possible to play inner parts in a legato manner that would otherwise be detached. To play legato sixths or octaves, combine glissando, finger substitution, and crossing. Fourth, dividing of inner parts between the two hands. Much finger substitution is eliminated. Mark the place where the division of hands occurs. Let's turn your attention to the pedal board. The organist should preferably use lightweight shoes. The type of shoe worn can hamper or facilitate organ technique. Learn how to find the notes on the pedal board without looking at the feet. One way to avoid looking at the pedals is to use the gaps between the various groups of black keys. When seated correctly on the bench, the feet will be directly over the two central gaps in the pedal board, between the keys B flat and C sharp for the left foot and E flat and F sharp for the right foot. Careful use of these gaps 
enables an organist to find initial locations and locate surrounding white notes without looking at the feet. The black notes of the pedal board are easily located when playing the pedals. Place the left toe on D flat, the right toe on E flat. Keep the heels parallel and let the toes cover about a third of the black key. Knees together. All motion comes from the ankle. The legs are quiet with the toes touching the black keys before the pedal is depressed. Play legato. Remember the principle. As one key goes down, the preceding key comes up. Play slowly and rhythmically. Keep heels parallel and feet together. For the interval of a fourth, the heels are still together, but the feet are approximately at a 45 degree angle. The fourth is the maximum interval that the heels stay together. For the interval of the fifth, the knees are still together, but the heels are slightly separated. More separation of the heels takes place on the interval of the sixth. With the interval of the octave, the knees are together, but in intervals larger than the octave, the knees are slightly separated. Place the left toe on any black key of the pedal board covering about one third of the key. Place the heel over the white key directly below. Play these keys in the manner of a slow trill. Motion comes from the ankles only with perfect legato. Here is the chromatic scale using the same technique. There are many possibilities for obtaining perfect legato when playing the pedals. The toe and heel of each foot. Larger intervals can be played legato by bridging one or two pedals between toe and heel of the same foot. of alternate toes. Pedal glissando, a rolling motion sideways from the outer to inner parts of the foot. Crossing the feet. Pedal substitution, used for larger legato skips along with alternating toes or heels.